Greetings. Um, we're going to go ahead and start week one uh, of your lessons. I know that uh, you're excited, just as excited as I am uh, concerning your journey. Um, so we're going to start with the circle of force. While I plug in my computer, sorry. So we're going to start with the circle of force. Of course, you know your note names, um, you know your scales up to E flat, which is what um, which is what you said, which is good. Um, so everything in music revolves around a circle of force. So you may have heard it as a circle of fifths, um, but everything in music kind of revolves around that circle. Um, meaning, um, the circle of fourth, meaning one, two, three, four. That's the four of C. One, two, three, four. That's the four of F. That's the four of B flat. So that's fourth. That's pretty much what they're saying. The fourth scale degree um, in each in, in, in each uh, note. So I know we kind of talked about numbers a little bit. So you're going to know all of your numbers in any key without even having to think about it or memorize it. You're going to know it just based on theory because everything, like I said, it revolves around the force. Um, if I do a two, five, one progression, if you notice my left hand, it's moving in force. Okay. So let's go ahead and play that first. Let's go ahead and learn how to, effectively play the circle of force. Okay, got my pinky on C. First finger, uh, pointer finger on F. Thumb on B flat. Ring finger on E flat. Thumb on A flat. Pinky on C sharp or D flat. Uh, uh, first finger on F sharp or G flat, thumb on B, uh, ring finger on E, thumb on A, uh, pinky on D, thumb on G, pinky on C. And if, if you follow that, follow that um, I can continue and it, and, and it feel kind of natural because my pinky is always getting me back to that C and my fingers it doesn't look like they're walking over each other same formula for the um, for the right hand thumb on C first finger um, first uh, pointer finger on F you can use your pinky or your ring finger for B flat. All right, thumb on E flat. Middle finger on A flat. Thumb on C sharp or D flat. Uh, pointer finger on F sharp. Um, ring finger on B. Uh, e thumb. A middle finger. D thumb. G uh, middle finger back to C. Okay, of course, you know, um, it's an app. It's called uh, Pro Metronome. Try to use that. Try to practice that using um, an, actual, an actual metronome. I'm not sure what type of equipment that you have, but keeping timing, keeping time is going to be very important. Speed. Speed is, is, is fine. It's going to it's gonna it's gonna happen but what we want to do right now is make sure that we get a good handle on our, our our fingers memorizing the circle of force our fingers memorizing the circle of force okay all right now next part so we know how to play it right we're gonna spend some time with this week. This, we're gonna spend some time this week playing the circle of force. Now, part two, very important part. 
We got to know it. How do we know it? Um, this is how it works. I want, I need you to write this down so you can pause the video. If you don't have, if you, you got a pen, uh, get you a pen, write this down. Okay. We're going to write down C. We're going to go vertical in the vertical line. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, C sharp, F sharp, B, E, a, D, G, C. Say it again. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, C sharp, F sharp, B, E, A, D, G, C. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, C sharp, F sharp, B, E, A, D, G, C. Okay? That's very, very important. Um, so that's actually, that's super important because it works like this. So now I'm, I'm working on, you, you get you some flashcards this week, uh, memorize it. The fourth of C is F. The fourth of F is B flat. The fourth of B flat is E flat. The fourth of E flat is A flat. The fourth of A flat is C sharp. The fourth of C sharp is F sharp. The fourth of F sharp is B. The fourth of B is E. The fourth of E is A. Fourth of A is D, the fourth of G, uh, fourth of D is G, the fourth of G is C. And you want to do a voice memo. I'm not sure if you have an iPhone or Android, but whichever one, do a voice recording of yourself of, of yourself saying that. Say it all week long. The fourth of C is F. If you don't know anything, you know that. The fourth of C is F. The fourth of C is F. The fourth of C is F. And you keep saying it until you get it. Until you can take those flashcards and somebody run them back to you and you're able to say them they'll hold it so you'll have c on the front and the number and the answer on the back in the uh top corner c f b flat e flat a flat all right c sharp f sharp b e a d g now quick easy way to get that last part um is bead b e a d b So I know the fourth of E is A, the fourth of A is D, the fourth of B is E. That's the letter that comes after that. If you can memorize the circle of fourths, you're, it's going to be, I mean, number one, I, I know you can, but once you memorize the, the circle of fourths, you have the formula to unlock all 12 keys. You just don't know it. Um, it's new. I know it's new um, and you're learning. But once we get this, this circle of force and the syncopation together, that's gonna be it. Scales is that's easy. You know, that's just just that's memory, just just going through the scale. Um, that's easy, right? Scales, no problem. But knowing how to apply the scales, knowing when to apply the scales. All of that stuff comes from the circle of fourths, uh, which, which you're going to learn this week. So you got two things that you that I need you to get this week. Number one um, is actually playing the circle of fourths. Okay. Playing the circle of fourths uh, evenly. Get through playing them. Second, um, I'm going to test you on the actual circle of fourths. The fourth of B is E, the fourth of E is A, the fourth of D is G, the fourth of F sharp is B, the fourth of B is E, the fourth of C sharp is F sharp. Like I just know as I, I got years and years of just knowing that, right? Let, let me let me tell you why another reason that is important. So if I know my circle of force, I can say watch this zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now watch what I now now listen. Now watch what I just did. Zero, no sharps or flats. One flat, two flats, three flats, four flats, five flats, six flats, five sharps, 
four sharps, three sharps, two sharps, one sharp. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Let's look. Let's look. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Let me move this over. So you see the key of C on this on the scale on the on the scale over here. No sharps or flats. F has one flat, which is B flat. Right? One flat. All right. E flat has two flats. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, B flat has two flats, yes. So B flat is one. The other one is E flat. Next one is B flat. All right, E flat. Three flats. Zero, one, two, three. Watch this. One flat, E flat. Two flats. Three flats. Back to E flat again. Three flats. And the three flats are. So it literally tells you the cheat, like to get into your scales and everything. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get there. Um, of course, the, the lessons are longer, and I spend more time um when you're when you're visibly here, so you can ask questions or whatever. Um but the video, honestly, is, is, is really is, is self-explanatory. Two things I need you to learn for week one. Your circle of fours. How to play them. And number two, what um, I need you to learn the actual how to say them, like the fourths. Your four, the fourth of D, I'll ask you. The fourth of D is what? And you, you're going to tell me exactly what the fourth of D is. Fourth of G is what? And you're going to tell me exactly what the fourth of G is. Um, so we'll move like we'll move like that next week. Um, we're going to get into um, major chords, major chords and minor chords, and maybe some sevens. I just kind of want to get some feedback to know, like, what you actually grasp. Like, if, you, if you're getting everything, if you get the force really, really good, we can move forward. But I kind of I need that communication from you to see where we are. But this is how it works, man. Even if you're not um, in class, um, you can still have you, you can still have an effective lesson every single week. So, man, I look forward to uh, hearing from you, man, and let me know exactly how much you are practicing and uh, making sure that everything is going really, really well for you. Have a good one, man. Look forward to talking to you again this week.